there. My name is Egil, warrior, trader and uh, runecaster. And today, oh, before we start getting uh, into it, don't forget, press the old bell in the corner there and please leave us a comment or subscribe. We'll be really glad to hear it. Now today we're going to have a fairy tale across the ocean for the first time, I believe, all the way to Ulster, Northern Ireland. No, don't worry, I'm not going to try a Northern Irish accent. Okay, and this is Finn the Dragon Slayer, or Fight the Dragon. Anyway, it's an old, old story and I hope you enjoy it. Back in the midst of time, Ulster was a series was one of a series of kingdoms. Great feats of warriors took place. And it so happened it was infested with dragons. Now you don't need me to tell you the last thing you want is a dragon. They cause awful havoc with your garden and tend to acquire gold and kill people. So Finn and his warriors set out and they saw this dragon. Now it was huge, yeah? Its tail was nine leagues long and disappeared into the clouds. His head, well that was very big indeed. His teeth were the size of trees. Oak trees to be exact, massive. And of course, as you know, dragons breathe fire. Not a very good thing to have, but that didn't stop Finn or his warriors. Come on lads, in they went. Swords, spears, arrows, even fists sunk into the dragon. The dragon was getting a bit teed off about this. They were making little headways and the dragon thought, I've had enough of this. And swallowed them all up, whole, apart from Finn. Big mistake on the dragon's part. Finn got his sword and slashed the length of the dragon's belly. And out popped all his mates. Oh, what kept you? Never mind that. Come on, get off that spleen and out of here. And Finn had killed a dragon. And this was at Clogmoch. And of course in those days there were a lot of dragons around. So Finn had got his work cut out for them. And there's a lot of stories about Finn McCall. One of the heroes of Ireland, quite rightly so, a very brave man. Uh, let's save that for another time, another place. Until then, bye now.